I'm so happy to be here tonight to present this year's Patty Chayefsky Laurel Award for Television to two immensely talented writers who made a big impact on my life, Joshua Brand and John Falsey. In 1991, which seems like a lifetime ago, it probably is for some of you, I got a script that just leapt out at me. It was the pilot for I'll Fly Away, a character-driven drama set in the South in the late 50s when the rumblings of the civil rights movement were just beginning to be heard. What struck me was the fact that those set in the past, the script wasn't jumping back in time just to stay there. Through their brilliant writing, Joshua and John opened an avenue to the past that led right into the present. The, quote, issues we dealt with came to our characters through their common, everyday existence. The show wasn't a platform to preach. It was a real world with ordinary people in extraordinary circumstances who were trying to be decent and seek an understanding of each other without breaking too many things. And I just want to add a couple of words of my own. The people, I can testify that the people whose real lives and real pasts we were representing felt understood. People on every side of the divides of race and status went way out of their way to let me know it, that as far as they were concerned, I'll Fly Away was their story, that without knowing me, I was okay with them because the show certified that I understood. So I got to know what it's like to live in a colorblind society for a while, thanks to Josh and John, and to see for myself, personally, what a mighty instrument much maligned TV can be when the writing has brains and knows the way to your heart. I still marvel at the fact that a major network would give an opportunity to such a show, but NBC did, even if only for a couple of seasons, thanks to the skill and track record of Joshua and John. It is with great pride that I present the 2013 Pat Echevsky Laurel Award for Television to two outstanding writers and dear friends, Joshua Brand and John Falsey. Thanks to uh, Barbara Benedict, who said that if I was going to read something, I should remember not to hold the trophy in one hand and try to read with the other hand. So thank you, Barbara. Um, <clears throat> there were so many great speeches. If I if I'd known that people were going to say such great things, I would have made I would have rewritten this and made it a lot shorter. But here it is. I don't do improvisation. Here goes. This is a writer's award, so it's okay to write down what you're going to say. Right? I mean, if not here, where? Uh, thank you, WGA, for this very special award. Here's what I learned. Good scripts make good shows. <clears throat> That's not a news flash, I know, but really, if you think about it, it explains a lot. That said, making a show is about more than writing a script, and I'd like to give a shout out to the friends, collaborators, instigators, and facilitators, those of you who wrote the page and those of you who beat the page. I am touched and honored that so many of you are here tonight. <clears throat> to my sons, Sam and Dave, my soul men, and to my wife, Brooks, who has been with me for the long ride, the full ride. Writing gave me a career. You guys gave me a life. I love you very much. John, you were the best partner, a gifted writer and a dear friend. We had so much fun, and most of it was legal. <clears throat> You couldn't beat me at darts or beat me on a basketball court or tennis court, but you could have beaten me up if you wanted to. 
and we know there were times you wanted to. I thank you for showing great restraint. Uh, one of the many things that jumped into my head when I learned we'd be up here, I'd be up here, was a lyric from Paul Simon's song, Old Friends. What a time it was, a time of innocence, a time of confidences. It was. Thank you. I want to, of course, thank the Writers Guild for this year's Patty Chayefsky Award, a truly exceptional writing award. I came out here years ago wanting to write television. Along the way, I became a showrunner. But always at heart, at first, was the writing, was the script. Simply put, I owe writing everything. Henry Bromel and his wife, Sarah, hosted a Brand Fallsy reunion dinner last night. And the talent that was in that room, writer, producers, producers, directors, all of whom went on to have enormously um, successful careers in their own right. Uh, it was a magical and moving night. To my friend, Josh Brand, I can't fathom having done the shows of anybody else. Thank you for a lifetime's worth of memories. It was a great ride. I'd like to thank the late Bruce Paltrow for giving me my start, Grant Tinker and Les Moonves for the great impact they had on my career, Elliot Webb, Boz Graham, and Tom Hoberman for their guidance and protection. And finally, to the absolute two loves of my life, my daughter Courtney and my son Christopher, both of whom were too young to remember when Brand Falsey was up and running and humming. This one's for you. All my love.